week's tutorial best website builder hi guys for today's tutorial I will show you how you can easily create your own website with Wix so without further ado let's dive in so first you need to log into your Wix account and if you don't have an account yet then no worries because you can sign up for free and also get the 30 days free trial just click the link in the description below to sign up so once you log into your account as you can see here these are the website that I created before and to create a new website you just need to click here create new site all right and the next step is to answer this question what kind of website are you creating so you, it can be an online store portfolio blog consultant technology company depends on you but for today's tutorial I will go ahead so for example I will be creating a portfolio website here so just click next after so next what would you like to call your website so just name your website here for example i will name it as portfolio for example portfolio all right and then just click next and then what do you want to add to your website so you can choose multiple features here that you want to add to your website for example chat I can also add some forms here and I can also add an Instagram feed in my website also you can choose here bookings events blog pricing plans and more it depends on you guys so just select here the things that you want to add in your website and then once done just click next all right so after that we can now start setting up your website so here we have two options to start designing our website so first we can begin with a template you can customize a designer made template so the second option is get a custom built site this is you let wix to create a site for you in just a minute and you will just provide your business information so today i will just go ahead and select begin with a template and it will redirect us to this page where you can choose your own template here for your website so just choose a template here that you like for your website i will just go ahead and look further let me go ahead and check the next page all right so i like this one here to be a portfolio website so i will just go ahead and view this website so this is the pre-made website here that we can uh, soon customize all right so it's still loading all right so here's the website now let me check this one all right so i guess this is good it's perfect for like photographer or for this one for a copywriter website so let me just go ahead and make use of this template so here i will just click edit this site so that we can edit this uh, website and all right so here is the website now so here we can customize everything like the text here we can change the text so let me just go ahead and change the name here for example i will name this um kate brown and then over here you can also change this uh, logo over here and you can add and you can add your own logo just double click it and then here you can upload your own media or you can upload your own uh, logo image so let me just close it and also you can customize the header here so just double click this one and here you can manage the columns as you can see here we have two columns and also you can change the background color so for example let's change the color here maybe this one okay i like this one so i will just keep this so just like that and then over here you can also change the text here and you can 
enter your text here about yourself and also your work here. And then you can also change the, your image here. So when you click this one, you can see you have option here to change your image. So just click on it. And again, you can upload your own image here. So I will just close this. So you can customize everything here. And also you can change the background color here. So just click from this side and then you can change the section background. So here, let me just go ahead and I don't like that. All right, so let's just keep this. Let's just, uh, okay, so let's just keep this one here. I guess that's good. So you can also change the image here. So again, just click it and then you can manage your media here. So you can add your own images here. So let's just wait for it. All right, so here it is. You can add your own images here. So just add media and then you can upload your own images here. So let me just click done here. So let's go ahead and check the tab that you can see here on the left side corner. So we have the first one, which is the add elements. So from here, you can add some elements like text, image, button, uh, decorative box, menu, list and more. So for example, I will be adding some social uh, links here in my website. I can do that. So let's just select this one and then you have your template here. So for example, I like this. So I can just easily drag and then I drop it over here. Let me just move it here. So something like that. And then I will just double click this so that I can add my own social media link. So you just need to select the, for example, the Instagram. And then here I can just copy and paste my Instagram URL here. And you can also remove the, some of the icon here that you don't have. And then you can add some icon here for the social media that you have. So let me just close this. So that's, inside the elements. So we have a lot of option here that you can add in your website. So the second tab is for the add section. So this will be the section over here. So you can add a section here, like for example, a welcome section, the about section, the contact section, promotion, uh, subscribe, testimonial, whatsoever. And you also have your template here that you can choose from. So for example, I will be adding this one here, the about. So, okay, it's still loading. All right, so I will just easily drag this one and then I will just drop it inside my website and it will be added. So it may take some time. All right, so let's check it. So here we just added our about us. So that's how easy and fast you can drag and drop some section here and also some elements inside your website. So you can also customize here the link. So you can add some link here to redirect your audience to when they click this learn more. So the next tab will be for the menus and pages. So here you can add more pages in your website. So when we check here, we have this pages. So we have the work, the home page. This is the home page, and you have the work page, about page, and contact page. So you can also add more page here. So just click add page, and then for example, we will be adding services services page. So let's just wait for the template here to load and we will be selecting a template for our services page. All right, so here are the template. So let's just go ahead and look for other template that we can uh, make use of. So let me go ahead and select this. All right, so we have now the new page here. 
So we have the, let me just close this one. So this is the services page. As you can see here, also a new page added in our menu. So I will just go ahead and so we are now back here in our home page. So the next stub is for the site design. So here you have, so here you can change the color and the text theme. So let's just click customize. And for example, I will be choosing the energetic. So as you can see here, it's also change. So the retro, the eclectic, all right, so I kind of like this one. So let me just keep this. So yeah, let's just go back. So we can also change the background color here if you like to, but for me, I will keep this one. I like it. So the next one is you can also add some up. So you can select different up here that available inside the Wix up market. So for example, you will be adding the Wix store, you can also do that. So you can install this one for free and add it to your website. Or you can add some Wix bookings, Wix events, blog, and more. So you also have different categories here that you can select from. So you have the uh, marketing, this is for the marketing app, sell online, services, media, and more. So the next Tab here is for my business. This is the features that we selected earlier that we want to add in our website. So we selected to add the chat. So here we can set up the chat here. So we can go to settings and set up the Wix chat. And also same with the form. You can set this one up over here. And then for the last one, this is for your media. This is where you can see all the photos that you uploaded. And also you can make use of the free Wix images that they have here. And they have tons of images that you can make use of for free. Same with the free Wix videos. So that's all here on the left side tab. So over here, you also have your undo and also save options. So you need to always save your changes here. So you can also check the preview here of your website. So let's just go ahead and check the preview. So this is now our website preview. So we have our social media here and also we can go to services. We can go to our work. And we can go to our about and contact as well. So let me just go back to our editor. And by the way, you can also um, click here to switch to mobile view so that you can also check your website in mobile view. So as you can see here, this will be the mobile view of our website. All right, so let's just go back to our editor. Okay, let me just switch to desktop. All right, so you also have your tools here. So you can remove this grid line over here if you like to. And also you can um, uncheck this not to object. So you can also show the toolbar over here as you can see. But let me just go ahead and uncheck this. So that's it. And also, if you have your own domain, then you can connect your domain here. And once you are done with your website, 
So when you are done with your website, then you can just publish it. And if you are not yet done and you want to continue later on, then you can just click save and it will save in your Wix account and you can later on continue editing your website. So for now, let's go ahead and click publish. And over here, as you can see, we have now our site publish and live online. So this is the domain that we have for free. So let me just go ahead and copy this one or let's just go ahead and click the view site. And now here's our website live online. And as you can see here, the new site sample portfolio has been added here. And you can always select and edit this site over here in your home dashboard. So I guess that's all for today's tutorial about Wix website builder. So I hope that you learned something from today's video. And again, if you want to create an account, you can sign up for free and get the free trial for 30 days. Just click the link in the description below. So thank you for watching.